guys, good morning. So I'm actually getting ready to leave and I'm just gonna show you guys something. Headed out the door here. Um, Ken had to take my car over to uh, the shop today to get some stuff fixed on it, which is crazy because it only has 14,000 miles, but it has some things that need to be worked on. And he got me a rental car. So I have the brand new Acadia which actually Andrew just got home. So it's similar to my old Acadia that Andrew is now driving. But yeah, so here's the brand new. I like how bright white it is. It's nice and pretty. But yeah, it's just a rental car for a day while my car is in the shop. So I just chatted with Andrew for a second. He just took his last exam for a while. Oh, let's see who's calling me. Hello? Hello. Yeah. So I talked to the stone people. Uh-huh. They're like, they have about four more days on her project, but I mean, they're... Holy they moly, her. that's insane. Well, the thing is, is they're here, like, doing prep because she's waiting for more material or something like that. Okay. So, they're like, they get the screening and stuff up on the house, and they're working on that today. Uh -huh. And I'm like, so how long is this going to take? And it's about a 10-week process. What? Yes. That is insane. So our stone won't be done until January. But we're next, for sure. Yeah, yo, they're here working on it. Wow. How exciting. They're gonna be starting our stone on our house. I'm so excited. I cannot believe it takes that long. When they put the brick on our house, I swear it felt like it took just like a couple days, but it's so hard to remember. It was like 15 years ago. So anyways, yeah, I'm inside the little Acadia here. And I don't know why I said little. It's a lot smaller than my old Acadia. And it looks like it doesn't have as much trunk space in the back. But Andrew was telling me, because he works at the car dealership, he was telling me that um, they dropped the price quite a bit of the Acadia. So I wonder if it was just because it was kind of like a luxury car and it was actually kind of expensive that they made it a little bit more compact and made it um, a little bit smaller so more people could afford to buy it. So I just... I leased my um, white one and um, Andrew just took over my lease. I had like a year and a half to go and it would have been, it was cheaper for him to just finish out the lease than turn it into the dealership and owe a bunch of money when I bought my Yukon. So he's only got about a year to go and then he's gonna need to decide if he's gonna lease another car or buy something or what because he'll almost be done with college at that point. So timing wise it worked out pretty well. So right now I'm actually headed over to get a pedicure and um, make my toenails look pretty. I don't think I'm going to, I don't know if I'm going to do anything with my nails or not. I bite them, so I don't know. We'll see. So it's been several hours later. I'm back in the car. Got my toes done. I don't know if you can see them down there. Yep. And uh, I'm actually with Ken now. It's over there putting gas in the car because we're taking the rental car back already because my car is already fixed and ready to be picked up so that's nice this car is really strange it idles like really low when you're at a stop and then when you give it gas it like feels like it's like stalling so we're taking it back and we're getting our car back and I'm not sure what's happening kids just got home from school I picked up some bagels everybody can just eat their own thing for lunch or dinner, I should say, because I hadn't eaten lunch, so I had a late lunch, and they're eating early dinner. Here you are. We had to get $2.76 of gas. Alright, so, hi everyone, it's Carly, and I just got home from school, and actually this week I have three assignments due this Friday. I have a health thing that I have to fill out, English thing, which I'm almost finished with, and next Wednesday, actually not Friday, I have this history thing to turn in, which I will show to you. It is a project where we have to pick a country in Europe and write about it. The country I picked is Belgium. Otherwise, I would have picked Poland because that's where my grandpa came from, but they didn't have that because we already learned about it and it wouldn't be fair. So, let's click Presentate. Okay. So it says Belgium by Carly Reese. Culture. The culture of Belgium include. Oh, 
includes language, religion, and holidays. The languages mostly spoken are French and Dutch. They worship many different religions, but their highest population is Catholic. Are you serious? Some ways to celebrate in Belgium are fairs, festivals, parades, and religious holidays. They pretty much celebrate every holiday the same way as Americans besides on different days. Government. Belgium has a constitutional monarchy, which is a government that is a monarchy in which governing powers of the monarch are restricted by a constitution. Their leader is named King Philip, I'm pretty sure it's. If it's pronounced, if anyone's from Belgium, please don't get offended. It's just I'm not very good with saying, like, names. And who holds power along with the Prime Minister, Charles Mitchell or Mickle? I'm not sure. Actually, I have three more slides to go. Ooh, I'm orange. Actually, I have three more slides to do, which I'm pretty sure is people, history, and fun facts. And then we have to, like, do a map thing <coughs> and circle the capital and two major cities so i'm was actually going to finish today but i don't think i need to because it's not due till next wednesday so i might as well just get my other things done like the easy stuff like english will be pretty easy so i'm gonna sign out of this i'm gonna go get my actual chromebook so i can work on my english stuff and then I might work on my health stuff because it's like a survey thing because I just joined health because it's a new quarter. So I have to like fill out where do you turn in your late assignments and all that fun stuff. So yeah, I'll see you guys later. So we came to our property and guess who we <laughs> brought with us this time? We brought Daisy and Pippa. They're checking it out for the first time. They need baths so bad, so we figured might as well bring them now while they are dirty. We just gave Shaggy and Tori a bath the other day, so. <coughs> Come on. Come on, girls. <laughs> Where's, oh, there she is. Daisy, you like this? This is going to be your new home. Daisy. She's okay, let her check stuff out. There's the creek. Come on. Don't let them go over there. They're fine. Carly's the afraid they're gonna fall in the creek. <laughs> That's her main she, she's not gonna fall in. <laughs> oh, Daddy's calling you. Come on. Go ahead. <laughs> what are you doing, Pippa? <laughs> she will. What are you doing? Come on. Oh, girl, you like it here? Come on. Come on. <laughs> She's making sure I was coming. <laughs> you guys like it? Hi, oh, you like your new home? Come on. Oh, someone took the bike. What? Or, or did they throw it in the thing? No, someone took it. It was there today. Someone took the bike that was sitting there. Someone finally realized that it was a nice bike and they'll probably fix it up. What? Oh, now they stop. They're fine. Here's where they're gonna get dirt, a little dirty. I'm it is. Here's the uh, back of our house. You don't get to see all that often. Actually, they don't get to see the front all that often either because it's so muddy right now. Don't push her in there. Uh, what the heck is what she? What are you throwing she, dirt? She's rubbing <laughs> in the dirt. <laughs> Oh my gosh. What are you doing? Oh my gosh. What is wrong with you? <laughs> She's trying to get it off. What do you think was going to happen? 
Oh my god. Did you see that? Oh my god. That gosh. was funny. Keep these dogs there must have been something there that she like smelled. She wanted the scent. Well, you got it all right. <laughs> Ding dong. Oh, look at her. Daisy. Oh, Come on. She's going back. She's getting yeah. some more. Look. Come here, Daisy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Look at how they just like look at us like, what, what's, what's next? What's next? <laughs> so here's my favorite two daughters are hanging out with me in the living room. And Tori's actually very mad Oh, did mom. you see my toes, Carly? <coughs> you went without me? Oh, yeah. I didn't want to have to do it tomorrow because I got too much to do. Hmm. Did you tell them that you have a half day school tomorrow? No. Oh, I do. Yeah. Sister! <laughs> but Tori's already angry. Because my mom gave her a haircut and then she sprayed this perfume stuff all over her. She smells and better though. She got mad because my mom took Pippa and Daisy to the pond and not her. She wouldn't even let my mom to the her. pond or the home house. <laughs> she doesn't seem very happy. She's happy. She's a happy camper. If she was that mad at me, she wouldn't be up here sitting next to me. Are you gonna help me cook Thanksgiving dinner next week? Do you realize we haven't been home for Thanksgiving in a long time? Do you remember where we were at? Where were we at last year? See if you can remember. Was it like California? Tennessee. Yeah, Tennessee. And then where? Where were we the year before that? Mexico. No. Florida. Nope. Yeah. Nope. That was Easter. New York City. Yeah. And then where were we? No. Uh huh. Because it was New Year's Eve when we were at. Oh, no, we went there for the Thanksgiving yeah, Day Parade. And then, then Mexico. Yep. Three years in a row we've been gone. I don't, don't even know if I'll remember how to cook a turkey. No, we get to be with the <laughs> Look, what if she had no ears? Wait, can you be a model for a second? Aww, she looks like a rat. <coughs> a pretty little rat. Boop. <laughs> she looks way cuter with her ears. How's it going, Chase? <coughs> Guess what Chase is playing? No surprise there. Oh, you getting off now? Alright, so Chase is going to ask you guys question of the day. Question of the day is, who's your favorite basketball team? Who's your favorite basketball team? Uh, the Thunder? What's that? Kentucky? It says right on the... <laughs> Oklahoma City. Yeah. I like um, Miami Heat. Why? I don't because it's the only name I can think of. <laughs> so guys, that's going to be it for our video today. Be sure you're subscribed, thumbs up our video, and thank you so much for watching. Let us know in the comments below who your favorite basketball team is if you have one, and we will see you guys tomorrow. Bye!